Disney just opened its latest theme park this week in Shanghai. It's the latest amusement park in what's becoming a crowded marketplace in China. CCTV's Hunan explores Disney's competition at Shanghai's Happy Valley Resort. Roller coaster, Caruso, Ferris wheel, amusement parks, many of them very similar in substance, are attracting more and more visitors. Theme parks and amusement attractions have become a new investment trend. As an estimated 2,500 amusement parks spread out in China, in China's metropolises, as well as in countryside. But is it possible to survive the fierce competition and make your performance report stand out? The OTC Group, owner of all the Happy Valley amusement parks, is listed as number four in the top ten theme park groups around the world, following Disney, Merlin Entertainment, and Universal Studio. Behind the number is the vast market and the growing demand in China. But still, they are all trying to keep their loyal customers while attracting new ones. We applied strategies of differentiating market and target clients. We boast over 50 sets of roller coasters and update our amusement equipment at two to three years interval. Also, we hold events according to Chinese traditional festivals and holidays. Two weeks ago, Wanda Group, an entertainment giant in China, announced that the opening of its first entertainment park in Jiangxi province in the southeastern part of China, about 600 kilometers from Shanghai. Now the Shanghai Disney Resort, just 50 kilometers from Happy Valley, opens to the public. In 2015, the world's top 25 theme parks or amusement parks received over 230 million visitors, a 5.4% increase. In the Asia region, the increase in general was just under 7%, but some particular parks in China saw an increase of between 35% to 170%. Competition is fierce, yet the market is still big enough for more quality amusement parks to settle here. Hunan CCTV, Shanghai.